Hi everyone, welcome back to another video. I've really, really missed you all. I don't know if anyone else feels that way, but I really do. I feel like it's been so long since I've come on camera, spoken to you all. I've been doing a lot of shop with me and I've just been behind the camera. So yeah, how are you all doing? Let me know in the comments. I feel so excited to see you all, but I'm not really seeing it. It's strange because it's just the camera, but I genuinely have really missed you all. So I have a Home Bargains kind of new in haul and then I've got a B&M sale haul. So stick around for that because I'm going to be starting with the Home Bargains haul and the B&M one is really, really, really good. So you don't want to miss that because you want to see what amazing sales I've got on and what you need to be going to B&M to be buying. So I'm going to start off, as I said, with the, B the Home Bargains. <laughs> By the way, I've got a really awful mosquito bite. Can you see it? It's so swollen. I've put so many products on there. I've got so many bites on my stomach. Like summer has not even begun. I don't know why mosquitoes really, really love my blood. And it's funny because my sister had a genetic, you know, those genetic things done, the blood tests and all. I don't think it's a blood test. It's the saliva test. Yeah, it sounds gross. but And it said on there that she is more susceptible to mosquito bites. So I was like, well, you're my sister. So yeah, that explains. It's crazy that it could be a genetic thing because they leave my husband alone. They'd never touch him. I'm like, why do I get them all? Because I scar pretty bad. Anyways, that's all about the mosquitoes. Okay, I'm going to start off with a few really basic stuff. I've got this. I usually get it from Poundland, but I think it's cheaper now in Home Bargains. It's really, really good if you've got sensitive skin, if you've got like combination skin, then this is really good just to, you know, remove any makeup. I've got this, which I haven't tried before. It's a Cup Noodles um, number one. I really like the illustration on there. It's very Japanese. This is a Japanese product. Cup Noodles. Have you tried this flavor? Let me know. It's curry. I don't actually have that much noodles, especially you know, the, the process type, but sometimes I just fancy it and I want to want to try this out. So Heed is coming up again. I think I mentioned in one of my shop with me that we have Heed twice a year. So yeah, the second one is coming up. So I've got a few things that I've hauled now for gifts. One of the favourite things that I loved in Home Bargains, which is new in, I think it's all for the, yeah, it's for the Father's Day range. So they've got lots of tins in. I showed you all in, that's my hubby, let me just tell him to be quiet because I'm recording. Yeah, he's just doing the bins, so I thought you might be able to hear it. So yeah, where was I? They've got loads of these tins out for Father's Day and they had a train one, which I really, really liked. And they've got this car one. I thought it was pretty cool. The wheels actually turn as well. And inside here you have, is it fudge? No, okay, they've got different things. So the train had fudge. This one is um, Scottish shortbread biscuits. And I just thought, you know, it makes a, quite a nice gift fade. So I did film my in my shop with me. I have shown you all of the tins that they have because they've got a camper van as well. I honestly really found them super cute. And I had to sit there debating which one is best. Hubby was saying that the camper van and the train might be a little bit weird, like as a gift. So... I stuck with the car in the end. Now for my niece, I have picked up a few things which I was surprised about. You know what? I love home bargains so, so much. Thank you to, I think it was Mary Poppins. Someone, someone asked me to film a shop with me and I had never been there before. And I can't believe that I had never been there before now because it's like, my favorite place. B&M is pretty good too. But Home Bargains, I really love the value. It's just so amazing. The product selection is really good. The quality is superb. So here, this was just 79p. It's not even a pound. Look at how beautiful this is. And she, my niece, she's into coloring and art and craft at the moment. So I thought this would be perfect. And it's quite whimsical. If you follow me on my craft channel, you'll know that I quite like whimsical things. So there's like a unicorn. Oh, I'm creasing it a little bit. So <laughs> yeah, I was really happy with that. 40 sheets and just 79p, as I mentioned. This is also for her. 
stick it an activity book. How old is she now? I think she's 11. And I got this because she likes cute stuff. To be honest, I'm not going to lie, I like this myself. <laughs> so yeah, look at the stickers, they're really nice. So cute and I love them, they're just colourful. And then do they repeat? They've got similar ones and then this is like not a shiny background holographic. Yeah, it's just really good. Lots of stickers, super cute. And then you open it up and I think you can maybe place the stickers on there. Not too sure. But hopefully she'll like this and the colouring book. And then I got this for my sister, my elder sister. And I actually got her a few, I think this is called, what is it? No, okay, this is a different... Um, you know, range, it's botanical discovery this one is, but I got her like a meadow range for last heed, like a mug and a bowl and a plate and a few things like that. She likes pretty but like um, practical things. So I got her these B placemats and you get four, yeah, pack of four in there. They've had these out for a while, but I think they're just cute. I've always loved them. And then this is another B thing that I've got her to go with the um, placemats and this was, I can't remember how much this was, £1.29 I think and tumbler with um, bees on there. I also got my elder sister with the placemat and the tumbler, this bowl here and you can see it's got the bee on there so it kind of matches everything, is all floral. There you go, that's better. Yeah, it's all floral and beautiful very very pretty i also got her this just as a little extra i think this is probably from the uh, valentine's range or mother's day range but they're still out they've even got some easter things out in my shop still and then for my niece as well as the activity packs and the stickers that i've shown you i picked up this tamagotchi who remembers these Oh my gosh, and you know what, this Tamagotchi, you have 168 pets to choose from. I showed you this in the shop with me as well, it was literally £1 something. Like, what are these prices? They are insane. You know, especially with everything going up, I did notice on a few trips back that some of, some things went up in home bargains, like the pet food, but there's so, like, I think they've just come back down because I didn't notice anything that was particularly high or had changed on this visit and in fact I was blown away like I said there's so many things that you can get for a pound under a pound just over a pound I keep blocking the lighting <laughs> yeah and they're really really good so I'm really happy with this one and I can't wait I'm actually going to put the batteries in so that she can just play with it there and then Another thing I picked up from Home Bargains with these droop pouches, set of six. I have to keep tapping the camera so you can actually see that. And I'm going to be using these somehow for my craft channel. I did pick up a, a bit of food as well, but I'll just put that away. Let me know if you'd like to see it because I just think it's a bit boring and no one will be interested. I had some other noodles, I had some naan bread, I had some crisp and I've picked up some wrapping paper. These are just 69p. Lots to choose from. This one is a butterfly print. Because the rest just say like happy birthday and you know obviously if I'm doing it for AIDS it's like <laughs> I can't use that one. Who loves Monster Munch? Hopefully there's a few of you because I find these so amazing. You know, I like things that are just packed with flavour. So salt and vinegar crisps that are really packed with flavour. I like the spicy, you know, the Doritos, really chilli. I love that one. And I like these because they're just so... They leave like an impact in your, in your mouth and your stomach. <laughs> so that's my home bargains haul. I feel like I went through that really quickly. Um, now I've got my B&M haul and I can't wait to show you this because it was literally all sale items and they're like a pound. Literally I was like how are they selling it for these prices? So the first item, one of my favourites, when I saw this range I really really loved it. 
I love animals, so I just really like this. This is Juniper Woods, and it was £6 initially. And they are down to just £1 now. £1. Like, imagine, even in Poundland, you would not see this. Because it's pretty good quality, and it looks super cute. And it's a candle holder, but imagine you would not see this even in Poundland for a pound. Obviously it's on sale, but Poundland don't really have sales either. So yeah, really, really love this. And they've got all of this kind of range has now been discounted. It's on sale. Guys, another candlestick for a pound. Do you know how much Next is selling? And and yeah, Next Home. Um, I think, did I see it? Um, no, I think it was just Next, but they are selling a very similar range like this like all bears rabbits this kind of style like literally you would not know any difference and they were like 45 pounds or so there these were already really good at six pounds but again just a pound like you cannot go wrong so yeah definitely get to be an m because they're quite you know decent in size as well i love them they're super cute i got some gift bags 175 for two for two bottle bags. It says it includes gift tags as well. And then three pounds for these honeycomb ball decorations. Oh, I got it reduced. No, they were three pounds. So if you're looking for decorations, there is a few different things you can pick up for aid um, from B&M as well. And then these gift bags how many three i got for two pounds this one's got like a mermaid design on and this one's glittery and then they've got another one in the middle that's got like polka dots i had hoped that these would be reduced but they were full priced still three pounds and i do like the wood i love the design on there and you've got tassels with wooden beads What's it say? All good things are wild and free. Yeah, I really like it. So that was three pounds and then this was also three. Again, tassel with the bead and the hand. I got two of these. They were originally four pounds. So the hanging, which I love and the detail there. And then the concrete and the succulent so they were half price they got reduced to two so i got two <laughs> i was surprised that these got discounted already because they're new in the yoga trinket dishes three pounds they're now 150 so again half price and they've got different movements on there i've got two as you can see and they're different movements these concrete elephants were four pounds and now two pounds and I think they've got maybe four different succulents. These are the ones I've got. And they're really cute. Another little one. Look at how small they are. They've got legs as well. This one's got the three legs. Tripod is it called usually. And a succulent. This is two pounds. So I didn't get much for B&M. Or home bargains it felt like. But that's a haul for both of those. But I also wanted to share a small haul because I had a few ask me to do this because I got a haul from Nasty Girl or Gal. I've only ordered twice from them and the first order I didn't share with you guys, I just put it away but you all noticed quite a few different bits when I was like out shopping and you can see my reflection in the mirror and I just put them all away but it seemed like a lot of you were interested in them and I've made a community post but I know not everyone sees them. So they've got like a 70%, this isn't sponsored honestly, they've got 70% off sale at the moment but then I found a discount code, not just one but two and it actually works like combined. Usually you can only do one discount code and not on sale items but this actually has two discount codes that work on top of 70% sale so i think i literally probably got like 90 percent off so i'm going to give you the discount codes in the description box i'll also pin it in the comments probably but i wanted just to share like i think i've got like four items yeah so this was my second order from them and i'm really happy because if there's something you want to return it's free returns as well so you really can't go wrong okay i just went and grabbed them because they were upstairs 
me fix my hijab a little. Okay, so the first thing I wanted to start with, these. These were £13 originally, and with all my discount codes, I got them for £5. So they weren't 13 originally, sorry, that was in the 70% sale. And then with my discount from £13 to £5. So I was really, really happy with them. But when they came, <laughs> when they came, it was a little bit of a different story with this one. I just thought, oh, it's not really how I imagined it to be. And I don't think it's my style. It was really chunky at the front. And all around, actually, as you can see. But I was still like, you know what, maybe I can get it to work. Because I was looking for like a trainer or a shoe that can go with jeans, with a skirt and with a dress. And I felt like this one would. But then when I wore it, I'm size 3 and it was a little bit big. It just kept coming up from the back. So I am returning these. I have returned one thing from my first order and then one thing from my second order. So these are going to be returned but they've got really amazing boots, I have to say. They've got other trainers as well on the sale, which I was like eyeing up, but they were like white and cream. And I go to parks a lot, so I thought that's not gonna work for me. Oh yeah, I forgot, I've done little clips of me trying on everything, so I'll let you see me trying on the shoes. You can on my PJs, but I think these are too big. They keep coming up at the back and I've tightened them as much as I can so these might have to be returned okay next I got this which I was debating so much about this maxi dress it's floral as you can see and at the bottom it's frilly can you see there but why I was debating about it was I wasn't sure if it was a floral kind that I liked and I didn't know how it was going to look on me. When I got it, I was surprised about two things. Firstly, the sleeve is actually see-through and I couldn't tell that and I didn't know that at all on the website. But because it's black, you can't really tell that it's see-through. So I was like, okay, that's okay. The second thing I was surprised about with it is that it's really, really heavy. I have no idea why it's so heavy. This part, like the main torso part and all the way down is thick. It's really thick. So I was like, oh, I wore it. I mean, I bought it to wear on hot days. But if it's this thick, I do not think I'm going to be wearing it on hot days. Other than like the fact that this part is thin and it's see through. That's quite light, but the other part is just really, really thick. But I think it's because it, it has like an inner layer, you can see here. This is like a black, it's like a dress within a dress, you know. It's got like one of those slips. But when I wore it, I was pleasantly surprised. It actually looked, I'm not saying this in a big headed way, but I felt like it looked better on me than on the model, like how I envisioned it because I was like, oh, it doesn't look that good. But I felt like it suited me, so I was happy with it. So I'm not gonna be returning this. Yeah, and I'm happy with how it fits, how it looks on me. It actually looks better on than off. That's probably what I'm trying to say. Quite liking this one. It's a little bit shorter than I thought. You can see my PJ trousers popping out there. But I do quite like this. I was really in two minds when I was looking at it online. I love the little frilly bit there. <laughs> and then the next thing which I was waiting to buy, because when you go on the app, I do recommend using the app by the way, because you get a few more discounts when you're using the app. And I like hearted, you can heart things that you want. So even if you can't afford it right now, or you want to wait for the end of the month or something like that, you can heart them and they all go into this little area called crushes. So I had this in my crushes for a while. It's a really nice, big, loose, chunky jumper. I love this. I thought it's just gonna go well with blue. Look at how nice it looks with blue. So like wearing jeans would just go nicely and it's quite long as well. 
So I was really happy with this and I'm not going to be returning this either. So this is a top. I actually really like this online. I don't know if it's too big, you know. I like the colour and even though it's acrylic, which I generally stay away from, it's quite soft, it doesn't feel irritating. I do like the length as well, and I like that it's flowy. This was a recent choice, it wasn't in my crushes, I hadn't been eyeing it up for a while. This I got under the petite. You know what, I really hate buying anything like jeans, skirts, dresses because I'm only five foot three like five foot three and a half so I'm pretty short and when you're seeing models wearing jeans that are like five foot eleven you know that it's not going to fit someone as small as me so I have to always pass off which is really annoying but thankfully Nasty Girl have got a petite section and I've only ever tried petite twice from Matlan and they didn't do well with me. It was like the sleeves came up quite short. I didn't like the fit. I'm, like I felt like it was really tight here on the sleeve area at the top. So I kind of got put off buying petite, but thankfully the jeans work pretty well. They were exactly my height from the legs. And I don't have this kind of acid wash and this colour or style of jeans. I think it was, yeah, it was mum jeans. That was one of the things. I've got one mum jean, which is okay, but I don't wear jeans that often, to be honest, and I just find them really uncomfortable. And I don't know much about the styles. I only got mum jeans because it had an elasticated waist, so I was like, at least there's a bit of comfort there. But it makes your hips look a lot bigger than it actually is. I know it's probably it's you know for people maybe with big hips like I told you I don't know much about jeans so I've got that one which wasn't too bad but this one here even though like it came on like it was long enough it wasn't too short it wasn't too long so that fitted perfectly but again I just felt like this time this one here just made me look like a bit of a balloon I just didn't like the fit of it that much but despite that I was in two minds whether I should return it or not, but I am keeping it because it was only £7 with the 70% and two discount codes. It was only £7 and I really need this kind of style, like colour rather. And it doesn't look too bad when you've got like a top over it and it covers the main bit that makes you look bigger. So yeah, I'm keeping it. I don't know. I don't really like these. I don't mind the colour, but I think the mum jeans, I don't know much about jeans, that's the problem. But I think these are not flattering for me. They make me look a lot chunkier and shorter than I actually am. So, I don't know, it kind of gives me hips, like more hips, like, I don't know, it's just like, I got a size up, but this is, I don't know, I'm just not really happy with it. Can you see all like this space here? It's for the hips. It's all just like this is my shape and what's all of this? I just don't like the cut. But yeah, I think these don't look too bad together and the jeans certainly look a lot better when you've got something on. The next thing I bought, which I was watching for a while, I, d I didn't want it to get out of stock so I was like, when should I order it? It's this long dress. It's, is it? A, yeah, it's a dress. It's called like a shirt dress with balloon arms. And it was £13.70 sale. And then I think I must have got it for, I don't know, seven, eight, something like that. But I really, really like it. It's nice to have open over some jeans or something like that. Or you can have it closed. So I'll show you the video now of how it actually looks on. This here is one of the ones I was really after. I love the sleeves on it. Look at how gorgeous that is, balloon sleeves. I like it. It's just like, yeah, it's so like elegant, I don't know. But the fit on this is really a little bit strange. Like this, I think I even got a size 10 and I'm usually a size eight. 
and this is really tight from like the waist you can see that that's quite small and then it's quite loose from the bottom and it's got buttons as well I quite like it, it's good quality, it's got like two layers in but I'm just not sure about the fit here because it feels really tight and then I don't know, it feels kind of awkward, this bit here. Mm. I like the material, I like the style and design, but I'm just not sure about the fit again. You can have it going, like, buttoning all the way, obviously, or you can have it open all the way, so it's kind of like a jacket. I wanted to quickly show you how it looks open. This is the main reason I bought it actually, so I'm really happy with how it looks open and it's kind of like an abaya, we call it. So I'm really happy with that. I love it. I think I'll probably just keep it open really. So the only thing I didn't like about this piece here was that it kind of fitted a little bit weird at the waist and it was like a little bit tight and then really flowy maybe that's the style but it just seemed a little bit too tight somehow at the top and I just felt like I couldn't move in it that well but I think I'm going to keep this for having it open so you know when it's kind of hot but not that hot and you want to have something on top of your clothes but it's not too warm I think this will be the perfect thing and I just really really love the sleeves and yeah, I'm just probably going to keep it open the majority of the time and have it over like some jeans, maybe these ones. So that's all of my, I feel like I've got so many bargains on this one, <laughs> especially the clothes, honestly, and the B&M items. And it just is so good when you're looking for gifts as well, like the B&M stuff. They're really good for gifts and I just love the quality and the product selection. Yeah, I think Poundland for me has just gone down. Let me know what you guys think has Poundland gone down for you since they've raised their prices especially because the quality in the product selection isn't that good in my opinion and what's your favorite out of Primark, The Range, Home Bargains, B&M and Poundland? I really really want to know. So yeah thank you so much for watching and don't forget to if you want to check out Nasty Girl if you want to get a really really good bargain make sure you use the two coupon codes and yeah, I hope that you have enjoyed and I'll see you in the next video. Take care of yourselves. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.